Chapter 41, The Wrong Season, You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio Grandpa really knew how to mess with people. Su Chu lips twitched as her expression showed complete disbelief. She and Biao.ge had been studying medical books ever since they were little. They might be a bit dumb, but after so many years of nurturing had been accumulated, they at least had some skills and knowledge. If push came to shove, they could still handle those tests. As for Jing Yunjiao, her grades might be excellent, but the material in medical books were extensive and cryptic. Su Chu still didn't understand those ancient phrases and words even till now, much less Jing Yunjiao, who hadn't even touched upon these subjects. You're doomed. You're doomed. Biao Da Jie, you don't know this but Grandpa's standards for medicine are super strict. When it's time for the test, don't ever write random things if you don't know the answer. Even submitting a blank paper would be better than guessing. Su Chu looked at Jing Yun Zhao with an expression of pity, as if she could foresee what Jing Yun Zhao would go through in the future. Regarding medicine, although Jing Yun Zhao may not be proficient yet, she knew enough to at least step through the entrance to the path. Her starting point was higher than others. If there was something she couldn't remember, she could just search through the spirit jade piece, then try her best to comprehend it. Even if she currently didn't understand something, the information in her head wouldn't disappear. Su Chu, of course, had no knowledge of it. Since the conversational topic had been opened, she kept complaining about it. Listening to her, it seemed that Grandpa Gan's punishments were really severe. If a blank paper was submitted, then that would mean you didn't put an effort. The punishment would usually be something like copying a medical book a few times. But if a paper full of guesses and nonsense was submitted, he would think that there was a problem with their attitude. In that case, not only would their allowance be cut, they would also be brought home to be supervised. Not only would there be a lecture them on how to be a better person, he would also take them for morning runs every day. Their clothing and meals would also be monitored. Towards this god. Grandpa of hers, Jing Yun Zhao truly felt admiration. In this time and age, doctors with medical ethics like his were rare. The next day, school carried on as per usual. When evening came, Jing Yun Zhao went to the back alley as promised, carrying a basket of Manye's snow parsley, Shi Tu Chuang Tu Z Zero. The circumstances this time was D. Irent from yesterday's. She had knocked only three times, and the door already opened. Plus, that old man was sitting right in the middle of the yard, looking at her with a serious expression. The look in his eyes raised goosebumps. Even Jing Yun Zhao was panicking. All of these herbs are good. Do you know their functions? The old man asked gloomily. Jing Yun Zhao's lips curled, poor man's ginseng are often used for injuries in qi and liquids or the lack of qi in blood, and Manye's snow parsley is often used for warming the kidneys to invigorate the young. T slash N. I know nothing about TCM. It isn't the right season to harvest those products of yours. The old man acted as if he hadn't heard her say a single thing and continued, Manye's snow parsley needs to be processed during the three hottest periods of summer. That way, the medicine will be the most e-directive. You bringing them in right now is wrong. It was currently spring. Where would anyone harvest these two herbs? Jing Yun Zhao heard this and her face instantly paled. She hadn't thought that far. Old man Su, then I'll take these Nidia Monieri back. I'm not selling them anymore. Jing Yun Zhao said, worried the old man would continue to ask her about the harvesting. Leave it. It's good stew. The old man shot a glance at Jing Yun Zhao and continued, Come with me. Without waiting for Jing Yun Zhao's response, he headed towards the backyard. Jing Yun Zhao was confused, but she thought about it and still quickly followed him. The old man wasn't slow. The backyard was like a huge shed, the topography slightly higher. The ground had limestone to prevent humidity, and medicinal materials were everywhere. Don't even know the processing season of the medicinal materials. Who would buy medicine from you in the future? 
From now on, come here every day to learn. The way of the medicine is still long. You have some good things in your hands. Don't waste it. The old man's expression didn't change, making it hard to understand his intentions. Still, looking at those medicinal materials, Jing Yun Zhao felt a bit excited. The spirit jade pieces also mentioned the preparation of medicinal materials, but there was a huge difference between learning about it and seeing it with her own eyes. Chapter 42, It Can't Be That She's Hiding a Man You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 42, It Can't Be That She's Hiding a Man Towards this grumpy old man surnamed Su, Jing Yun Zhao kept sensing this familiarity. She kept feeling that even though his words were cold, he wasn't a bad person. He was unlike the people she met in her past life, full of smiles on the outside but insidious on the inside. Thank you, old man Su. I will definitely arrive on time to learn, Jing Yun Zhao said, exposing a somewhat kind smile. If that's so, you'll leave today only when you've completely memorized this book. Old man Su bluntly threw a book straight towards her and turned to leave, locking Jing Yun Zhao in that shed. T slash N, reminder, the backyard is a shed. The light in the shed was Su dot scient. She opened the book and saw that it was about growing medicinal herbs and harvesting. The book wasn't thick, but if a normal person wanted to memorize it word for word, they would still need one to two days. However, ever since Jing Yun Zhao had absorbed the spirit jade piece, her memory had also improved. She looked at the book then at that tightly closed door. With no other choice, she sat down. Since no one was around, she took the chance to enter her space and started memorizing. Inside the space, time passed much slower. When she finally finished memorizing the whole book, slightly more than three hours had passed outside. She knocked on the door and soon the middle dot aged man came. He opened the door, took her book back and said, if you want to get out, recite it. Towards this Shifu and disciple pair, Jing Yun Zhao felt a bit speechless. However, since they meant well, Jing Yun Zhao started reciting. The book had over 200 pages, so reciting it would take a while. The disciple listened attentively, not missing a single word. There were sometimes parts he couldn't hear clearly, which he then made Jing Yun Zhao repeat it until she said it right. Jing Yun Zhao wasn't a half dot hearted person. Since she had promised to learn, she would definitely exert her utmost effort to do it. When she finished, it was getting late. Every word was correct. You can go now. Remember to come here on time next time. This is today's medicine's money. The disciple's temper was more straightforward than the Shifu's. After he finished his piece, he also turned around to leave. In her hands, there was surprisingly a few thousand yuan more than she should have gotten. Adding it to yesterday's money, she already had over ten thousand. This money dot making speed, the her in her past life couldn't even imagine it. Outside, the moon was bright and the stars were scattered. The air was much better than the air inside the shed. She took a deep breath and began to walk home via her route here. But just when she was exiting that little alleyway, people appeared under the street light. Jing Yun Zhao didn't want to waste a single second. She was still digesting the jade piece's information when she was stopped by these people. Raising her head, she met the fierce eyes of Lu Jiao. After Lu Jiao was beaten to a pulp previously, she had been licking her wounds at home. Looking at her, her face was still a bit swollen. She didn't look natural no matter what. I was thinking who it was. Isn't this our school's renowned Jing Yun Zhao? I saw you coming out of that alleyway over there. What? Being in such a secluded area at this time of the night, you're not hiding a man, are you? Lu Jia's face was full of mockery, her eyes as if they were burning. Remembering that day when Jing Yun Zhao hit her in front of everyone, she felt as if her reputation had all been thrown away. The teachers were on Jing Yun Zhao's side at that time so Lu Jia couldn't do much to her. She even got scolded by her parents. But now that they were outside, with no cameras around, 
Lu Jia didn't believe that Jing Yunzhao would still be able to get the upper hand this time. Chapter 43 This Willing to Take the Initiative You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 43 This Willing to Take the Initiative Seeing Lu Jia, Jing Yunzhao thought of the phrase enemies on a narrow road. Lu Jia's personality was more on the casual side. Even though she didn't look as delicate and pleasing as Chiao Hongya, she was still considered lucky to have a few older male cousins who loved her. It was like a spot of red in the midst of greens. Even though Lu Jia wasn't a beauty, her cousins doted on her very much. They even waited outside of the school gates to pick her up occasionally. Many students envied her because of that. Jing Yunzhao saw four men standing behind Lu Jia. The oldest was in his twenties and the youngest was at least 17.18 years old. So she's Jing Yunzhao. That bastard you were talking about, one of the men asked in rage. Third Biao.ge, she was the one who framed me. It was obviously I who Su. aired, but she told the teacher I hit her. Because of her, mom and dad don't trust me. Lu Jia angrily tattled. What a fucking bitch. Jia, don't worry. Gij, T slash N, older brother, will definitely avenge you. After the third Biao.ge finished talking, the four men gathered in a circle, trapping Jing Yunzhao in the middle. Lu Jia was outside of the circle, her face full of confidence and arrogance. Gu, there's too many people out here. Take her into the alley first. At this time of night, it was dark and windy. Even stray cats were nowhere to be seen. Lu Jia didn't believe Jing Yunzhao could still escape in this scenario. As a plus, no one would know who beat her to a pulp in the alley. Since Lu Jia had the advantage of numbers, she dragged Jing Yunzhao as she threatened her to go into an alley. This street didn't have many pedestrians, it also didn't have cameras. There would be no one who would notice in this place. Gloominess flashed through Jing Yunzhao's eyes. She looked cooperative as she was tugged and shoved under the shadow of a wall. This bitch looks pretty good. But someone like you, even if gifted to us brothers, we still wouldn't want you. Jia tell us what you want to do. We'll keep a lookout for you. You can do whatever you want, another cousin added. Lu Jia spat on the ground and stepped on it with her foot before stepping forward, Jing Yunzhao, get down on your knees and beg. Maybe my heart will soften and forgive you. Jing Yunzhao clenched her fists, thinking of martial art moves. What are you acting so virtuously for? Do you believe I'll tear your clothes to shreds? In this kind of cold weather, looking at it, it might also rain. Without your clothes, you might freeze to death here. Oh, right, I also brought my phone. I'll take some pictures of you naked when we're done and make it so you'll never be able to live in Huaning County. Lu Jia was like an excited rooster, clamoring non-stop. But even though Lu Jia spoke for a long time, no reaction came from Jing Yunzhao. Her gloomy appearance made her look like a ghost, especially in this darkness. Extremely horrifying. Lu Jia glared at her, waiting to see Jing Yunzhao panic. But even after a while, she only saw Jing Yunzhao's mouth curve, revealing a scary smile. Dot, what are you smiling for? Lu Jia's eyeballs were close to popping out. Jing Yunzhao's eyebrow twitched. She took oh, the thin jacket she was wearing. Oh, you're that willing to take the initiative, huh? Let me tell you, my Biao.ge's won't fall for that. Lu Jia SEO ed rolling her eyes. However, after she finished talking, she only saw Jing Yunzhao wrap that jacket around her hand. It looked like a boxing glove. Lu Jia couldn't understand what she was doing. Are you asking for a beating? Lu Jia roared. Bang! Just as she finished her sentence, all she could see was Jing Yunzhao's fist flying towards her nose. With her clothing wrapped around her hand, the impact was a bit soft. But Jing Yunzhao's strength was not normal. This punch was not weak. As the brothers watched, 
they were instantly filled with hate and grabbed at Jing Yunzhao. Chapter 44, You Killed Him, You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Even though she only practiced martial arts at night, she wasn't practicing for nothing. Those brothers' hands hadn't even started to reach out when Jing Yunzhao swung her foot mercilessly, hitting straight towards their crotches. They instantly backed away, swaying quite unsteadily. Jing Yunzhao's attack stunned them. They still hadn't recovered their wits when they heard Lu Jia's angry and panicking voice. She was pinching her nose. Gu. My nose is bleeding. It hurts. Lu Jia's voice brought the four men back from shock. Their rage grew, and they then started to throw punches towards Jing Yunzhao. Jing Yunzhao dodged, her movements a bit stiff. As a punch flew past her ear, her heart sank. His eyes flashed with murderous intent, and she kicked out with her foot. She quickly grabbed onto an arm that appeared in front of her and twisted it. The last time with Lu Jia had only been a one-dot-sided fight on her part. This time, though, it would be different. It was the first time she had ever encountered something like this in her two lifetimes. However, she kept feeling that these people weren't as fast as she expected. She had some d dot culty dealing with them, but she wasn't at a major disadvantage. These cousins were all men after all. When had they been tormented by a woman like this? They were so angry their faces were red. Especially since Lu Jia was egging them on at the side, their blood boiled in anger. They wanted to stab Jing Yunzhao and get things over with. The oldest cousin was a man in his twenties after all. He had strength and numbers on his side. Taking advantage of when Jing Yunzhao was busy dealing with the other three cousins, the oldest cousin grabbed the chance and threw a rock in Jing Yunzhao's direction. Those people had already awoken their will to kill. Lu Jia, the only person who was clear-minded, was scared. That rock was very sharp. If it did hit the target, it would definitely cause a serious injury. It might even claim a life. Lu Jia was only a 15.16 year old girl after all, she would still panic when she saw this scene. But what had been done had been done, she couldn't stop it in time. But looking at Jing Yunzhao's hateful face, she was reluctant to say anything. Thud. The big rock fell to the ground. Third Biao.ge. Lu Jia looked and she was dumbfounded. She could only see her third Biao.ge falling to the ground with a bloody head. Following that shriek, the eldest cousin was also shocked. His lips were trembling, unbelieving. That's right, he really did aim it at Jing Yunzhao, but she managed to dodge within the blink of an eye. Not only did she dodge, she somehow managed to position third Biao.ge appear under that rock. Right, he saw it. Jing Yunzhao had already sensed his intention and knew that their third brother would be hit if she dodged. Yet she still dodged without hesitation. Plus, her expression in that split moment was full of mockery. She did it on purpose. That third Biao.ge was twitching on the ground with blood flowing from his head injury non-stop. Soon, he stopped moving. Lu Jia held her phone, shaking, but it was then snatched by her eldest Biao.ge. You can't call the police. If you do, my life will be over. Everything will be over. The one who picked up the rock was him. The one who threw it was also him. If the police were informed, he would definitely be arrested. Eldest Biao.ge. I'm begging you, third Biao.ge is gonna die. Lu Jia's tears came flying out without a sign of stopping. She was scared out of her wits and desperately pleaded. She had four aunts, T slash N, mother of her cousins. Even though these four cousins weren't blood dot related brothers, their relationship had always been good. But now eldest Biao.ge wouldn't let her call the police. Then what should she do? She couldn't just watch her third Biao. GE die of blood loss. At that moment, Jing Yunzhao only watched them coldly and began to leave. 
You can't leave, the eldest Biao.ge shouted as if he was crazy. Jing Yun Zhao stopped, revealing a mocking smile. You killed him. You're the one who had the rock. You're the one who killed him. The eldest Biao.ge yelled madly. Chapter 45, Framing, You Are Listening at Novel Full.audio When the eldest Biao.ge's voice dropped, not only were the other two cousins dumbfounded, even Lu Jia was looking at him in disbelief. However, that eldest Biao.ge was already possessed by a demonic and glared sharply at Lu Jia, if we weren't trying to avenge you today, things wouldn't have turned out this way. Lu Jia's eyes turned red, feeling extremely wronged. Though, when she thought about it, eldest Biao.ge was right. With third Biao.ge like that, when she returned, third aunt would definitely not let her owe. But, if eldest Biao.ge was also going to be punished for being involved, then eldest aunt would also be furious. Her parents were already quite upset with her lately. Under these circumstances, she could only push the blame onto Jing Yunzhao. That was the only way to save her eldest Biao.ge. By then, her third aunt's anger would also be transferred onto Jing Yunzhao. She might even be able to escape from everyone's criticism. It was as if there was a demon within her too, enticing her. Looking at third Biao.ge lying in his pool of blood, then turning to Jing Yunzhao's cold expression, Lu Jia's hatred only deepened. That if it weren't for Jing Yunzhao, nothing would have happened to them. Eldest Biao.ge. Call the police. Don't let Jing Yunzhao get away. Lu Jia's sentence instantly established her position in this matter. The other two cousins were already panicking immensely, understanding that they couldn't avoid being involved in this situation. When they heard what Lu Jia said, they didn't dare say more. They also wanted Jing Yunzhao to take the blame. They were all children with parents. If something were to really happen, their families would be distressed, but Jing Yunzhao was D. Erent. Wasn't she an orphan? No one would be A. Acted even if she was to end up in jail. Seeing them clearly on the same side, eldest Biao. Ji Yi was finally able to relax. With shaking hands, only then did he call the police. However, they were all still so young and inexperienced. With such a huge thing going on, they completely forgot about the all-important evidence. But of course, with Jing Yunzhao there, she would never let them wipe the fingerprints o of the rock. The police and an ambulance soon arrived at the scene. Seeing the faces of these youngsters, the faces of these police o dot sayers were also not pleasant. Jing Yunzhao didn't think of running away at all, so she cooperated and casually got into a police car. On the other hand, the injured third Biao.ge that had lost a significant amount of blood, was still alive. He was carried into the ambulance and was then speedily driven away. Oh. Ser, it was Jing Yunzhao who did it. She was the one who smashed the rock onto third Biao.ge. Lu Jia, who with a face of terror and trying her best to calm down, declared. That's right. That's right. Oh. Dot Ser, look at all the injuries on our bodies. She knows martial arts. It was all her doing. Eldest Biao.ge's eyes were red, looking quite impatient. The other two could only hang their heads low in fear and trepidation. They neither spoke nor did they refute the claim. This matter had already been reported to their parents and they should be arriving soon. But Jin Yunzhao had cut all ties with the Chiaos, thus they had no one to contact. In the end, she thought about it and decided to call Grandpa Gan. She didn't want to bother Grandpa Gan with her own problems, but she was living under Grandpa Gan's roof after all. She had the responsibility to let him know too, so that he wouldn't worry. Jing Yunzhao didn't say anything the entire time and calmly waited for Gan Songbai's arrival. Without an adult present, whatever she said would only be a waste of her breath. Before Gan Songbai showed up, Lu Jia's mother and her three aunts had arrived. The ones who came were all women. The men were probably all at the hospital, but these women were too scary. When they came in, 
they all had an evil and threatening appearance. Chapter 46, A Ruthless Girl, You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio In her past life, when Jing Yun Zhao had accidentally killed Xiao Weiman, Xiao Hongye and the Xiao family members had also looked like this. They also walked in, incensed, looking as if they were ready to kill. Mom, how's Biao.D's, younger male cousin, condition? Eldest Biao.ge immediately asked when he saw his family only to see their eldest aunt Sai. We don't know yet, but when we came, the doctor said that it's very serious. He lost too much blood and they might not be able to save him. After eldest Biao.ge heard that, he sighed in relief. ENV Jing Yunzhao's coolie watched him make that expression, her eyes filled with disdain. They were said to have a good familial relationship, yet in order to save himself, he wanted the other to die. Without the testimony of the victim, he would have an easier time pushing the blame onto her. These kinds of people disgusted her. It was all your fault. Jing Yunzhao. If it weren't for you, my third Biao.ge wouldn't have ended up in this state. Lu Jia shouted as she remembered how well her third Biao.ge had treated her in the past. Jing Yun Zhao had never wanted to say anything, but when she heard Lu Jia say this in front of so many people, she refused to hold it in anymore. Because of me. The ones who cornered me into a fight was your group. The ones who injured one of their own were also you and your group. Yet now you want to push the blame onto me. What kind of logic is this? Lu Jia instantly started to panic, you're spouting nonsense. You were the one who smashed the rock onto my third Biao.ge. Ha! So even you know the weapon was a rock. Jing Yun Zhao injected coldly. Oh dot sir, now that things have gotten so serious, surely the weapon has also been brought back. Why don't we just test it? It has the blood of the victim and it should also have the attacker's fingerprints, right? After she said that, everyone present were all dumbfounded. Things had happened too sudden and too fast. They had all forgotten about the rock and only thought of pushing the blame. Especially that eldest Biao.ge, his face was originally quite handsome before, but now he looked somewhat sinister and panic-stricken. He glared at Jing Yunzhao as his heart was in a mess and saw the jacket Jing Yunzhao was holding. He suddenly remembered something and his eyes lit up. Not true. When Jing Yunzhao fought us, she had a jacket. She wrapped her hands with her jacket when she was holding the rock. That's why the rock doesn't have her fingerprints. And I. Because I tried to stop her by snatching the rock from her, the rock has my fingerprints. The eldest Biao.ge quickly explained. His strange expression made the O.Ser frown. Even his own mother thought that it was weird. But he was still her own son. How could she not believe him? With a face of pain and anger, she denounced Jing Yunzhao. How on earth is there such a ruthless girl like you? If something happens to my nephew, even if we have to use up all of our family's finances, we'll make sure you sit in jail forever. Words shouldn't be said so lightly. Jing Yunzhao swept her eyes over the married woman before looking at that eldest Biao.ge. Yes, I did use a jacket to cover my hands, but if you look at the folds on this jacket, it was only covering one hand. I can't grab that rock with one hand, can I? Additionally, O.Ser, the reason I did so was not because I didn't want to leave evidence. It was because it was in the middle of the night and it was hard to see. I was only trying to defend myself. I didn't want to accidentally cause injury, so I used the jacket like that to reduce the impact. Jing Yunzhao had never thought things would end up like this. Her original plan was, indeed, to leave no evidence while punishing them so these people wouldn't point fingers at her even after losing. But the moment eldest Biao.ge picked up the rock, her heart turned cold. Even though they were people who had nothing against each other, he wanted to kill her. Chapter 47, Closer Than Real Brothers, You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio she had only just started learning martial arts so she was not very skilled. 
while fighting with them, she struggled most of the time but was not severely injured. So if she were even a bit late in dodging that time, the one to fall would have been her. With the personalities of Lu Jia and her cousins, if Jing Yun Zhao were to collapse to the ground and not get up, they would definitely not call the ambulance but abandon her instead. It had begun to rain outside. Even though it wasn't raining hard, but it was enough to wash away much of the evidence. At that point, even if she were to lie out there and die of blood loss, no one would know who did it. As such, when the other party had decided to act without mercy, she had already thought of this scenario. Compared to the eldest Biao.ge's words, Jing Yunzhao's words were more reasonable. While Lu Jia and the others had visible injuries on their faces and bodies, but Jing Yunzhao's also had signs of injury, especially her arms. For men fighting against a girl, one wouldn't think the one looking for trouble would be the latter. You shameless, wicked person. My nephew's in that state yet you can still say such things. Did your parents not teach you how to be a decent person? You say you didn't do it. Since you say it wasn't you, then who could it be? It can't be that my son did it, can it? Oh dot sir, my son and nephew have always gotten along. They're closer than real brothers. The woman yelled. Dot what a wonderful pair of closer than real brothers. When it was necessary, the one who didn't give permission to call the cops was your son. If he hadn't delayed that moment, the injuries might not have become so serious. However, it was that woman's confident words that turned eldest Biao.ge's face pale. The others also tucked their heads in, looking completely shocked. O.Seer, oh, my granddaughter would never look for trouble on her own. Gan Songbai's voice rang from behind them once the woman finished talking. When Jing Yunzhao heard him say this, she was moved. She might have gotten herself a god-grandfather, but they had only met each other a few times. She was sure that they did not know each other well. However, she had already been to the police station twice. The first time, Gan Songbai helped without complaint. And this time, even though he knew someone was injured and she could possibly be charged with murder, he still chose to believe her. This kind of treatment, even her biological grandpa might not be able to do it. Jin Yunzhao's heart lamented. Gan Songbai was the same. He really liked this girl who knew medicine. Otherwise, he wouldn't have stood up for her time and again. This girl was only 15 years old, yet in such a short period of time, she had come to the police station twice. She was already receiving so much skepticism at such a young age, who knew how she would live her days in the future. She had no parents. As her grandpa, if he didn't help her, wouldn't her days be even more D. Cult? Grandpa, Jing Yun Zhao stood up. Towards this old grandpa, she was very grateful. She couldn't help but tear up a little. Child, grandpa knows you've been wronged. Don't worry, as long as you are innocent, no one can do anything to you. Gan Songbai comforted. She's been wronged. Look at how our kids have been beaten. If would have been fine if it was just a few simple beatings, but there's one lying in the hospital. That chatty woman nagged. Child, tell grandpa, what exactly happened? Gan Songbai was also surprised but calmed down and asked Jing Yunzhao. Jing Yunzhao didn't falsify the truth and once again repeated her encounter with the bunch. Her memory was pretty good, so she didn't leave out a single word from the beginning to the end. What Lu Jia and the others had said and done, she didn't leave out a single thing. Chapter 48, I Didn't Do It, You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Once Jing Yunzhao finished her explanation, Lu Jia looked so frightened, it was as if she had seen a ghost. There was not a single lie in her words, but nothing was left out either. This kind of abnormal ability to memorize could really scare people. I don't believe you. Why would my son corner someone he doesn't even know? It must be because they saw you doing something improper, that's why they went to persuade you. However, you wouldn't listen and even got violent with them, that if things truly went as what this girl had said, then wouldn't her son's future be over? No matter what, she would never believe it. 
this was her son, how could she not know what kind of person he is? Now I know why your son would do something like framing someone. So he learned it from his mother. A crooked stick will have a crooked shadow. Jing Yunzhao answered discourteously with a cold gaze. You fiend. With a shout, the woman pounced onto her with an arm raised. Jing Yunzhao simply leaned to a side, easily dodging the attack and causing the woman to fall onto the ground. She saw her fall, yet simply said, O. Oh, Ser, the probability of incidents where the attacker tries to cause harm but instead becomes the one harmed happening is not small. You saw it too. Additionally, I may be young. However, I refuse to be falsely accused by others. 1. I did not willfully pick a fight with them. 2. There are no fingerprints of mine present at the scene. Just by relying on the testimonies from these birds of a flock and concluding that I'm the culprit or even the murderer, I can only say, it's impossible. Even though the opposite side had the advantage of numbers, they didn't have any definitive evidence. She refused to accept the accusation no matter what. These words of hers were sound and solid as a rock. The spectators felt as if it was a knife went through their hearts. It's just as you said. Did you think that you guys would win just because you have more people on your side? Isn't there another one of you still lying in the hospital? Let's wait for him to wake up and I reckon the truth will be revealed then, came Gon Sombai's indignant voice. Right now, it was hard to tell the truth of the situation no matter how much both parties tried to explain themselves. That place was remote, not even a single security camera was present. Thus it still needed to be investigated closely. Both sides refused to concede as they waited helplessly during the whole night, glaring at each other. During the early afternoon of the next day, the hospital finally called and reported that the operation was a success. He lost too much blood and is in a comatose state. The woman who answered the call exclaimed in shock. She looked at the few people present before returning to the call, the situation is still unclear. That girl still refuses to admit it, even saying that the weapon doesn't have her fingerprints. As her voice became softer, Jing Yunzhao didn't bother to listen. What else would they say other than slander? Yet with that phrase of, comatose state, it greatly improved the expressions of Lu Jia and her cousins. However, their happiness was short.lived. The O. Ser had also received a call with a solemn expression. When he finished his call, his gaze towards Lu Jia, Jing Yunzhao, and the rest was extremely grave. One of my colleagues who left this morning has received news. There was a resident on the opposite apartment who saw what had happened. The O. Ser spoke halfway before pausing, and continued, even though you guys are still young, the nature of this case is quite serious. Take advantage of the chance you have now and turn yourself in. If you wait any longer, it will be too late. Jing Yinzhao's expression was unchanging. Lu Jia and the rest, however, were once again pale as a sheet. This police O. Ser had been checking on these people's expressions. Seeing the change in them now, he had already made his own conclusions. These kids were still young. After going through so much, wanting to fully conceal the facts was definitely not possible. It wasn't me. Suddenly, one of the Biao.ge's who hadn't spoken a word through the night shouted in fear. It was a complete accident. It was eldest Biao.ge who. It happened because he wasn't careful, I have nothing to do with it. Chapter 49, The Truth is Revealed, 1, 1, You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The one speaking was Lu Jia's youngest cousin. He was only 17 years old, so his mental strength would naturally be weaker. After going through a whole night of torture, the spirited look in his eyes was mostly gone. He looked listless, with a pair of panda eyes and his body shivering. Even the sleeves of his shirt had been tortuously stretched and wrinkled under his grip. Jing Yunzhao pitted him a little. His head had hung low for the whole night, his neck had likely turned sti. We really didn't do it on purpose. The youngest Biao.ge cried while looking at the women by his side. 
Jia Jia was in a bad mood and we wanted her to cheer up, so we decided to bring her to the nearby KTV to sing. Who would have thought that on the way there we would meet Jing Yunjiao? She was alone so we thought that we could teach her a lesson. We intended to make a move on her after leading her into an alley, but we never thought that we couldn't beat her. That was when eldest Biao.ge started getting anxious and grabbed the stone. However she managed to dodge and in the end, the one who got smashed by the rock was third Biao.ge. His cries were cut o oh, and irregular. After keeping it in for a night, his fear had multiplied exponentially. Th that's right. That's how it went. On the other side, the forgotten second Biao.ge shrunk his head with red eyes also agreed. You guys are speaking rubbish. It was Jing Yunzhao who did it. Eldest Biao.ge stood up in a flash and dived towards the youngest with a fist that landed right on the bridge of his nose. Two streams of blood was seen flowing out from his nostrils, while his whole body started slanting to one side. The youngest Biao.ge had been so severely frightened that he fainted from shock. Once this happened, the surrounding O.Sairs obviously could not just sit still and do nothing. They immediately rushed forward to hold down the instigator. It wasn't me. Mom, you need to believe me. It was all that Jing Yunzhao. It was all her. Jia Jia, vouch for me and tell them that I'm not involved with this. Eldest Biao.ge was now completely insane, screaming like a wild beast that was agitated and frightened. Lu Jia was only a 15-year-old kid, when had she seen such a spectacle? She understood clearly that after youngest Biao.ge had spoken, they were all done for. She too was done for. Her tears poured down her face as she knelt down on the spot wailing, eldest Biao.ge didn't do it on purpose. We only wanted to teach Jing Yunzhao a lesson. It was only because Jing Yunzhao dodged that everything became like this. Lu Jia. You menace, you're spouting nonsense too. You're spouting nonsense too. The eldest Biao.ge's legs were actually quite long. Even though the upper half of his body was being towed away, he still managed to give Lu Jia a kick in anger. Dot not only was this eldest Biao.ge enraged, even the three ants present at scene glared hatefully at Lu Jia as if they, too, had gone insane themselves. Their Lu family only had one son in the last generation, and that was Lu Jia's father. Yet unexpectedly, the four daughters of the Lu family that had been married out all bore a son, all except for Lu Jia's father who only had a daughter. Even though it was a pity, but since Lu Jia was the only girl of their generation, she was a bit special. She was treated with more love and care than the rest, but who knew the child they all regarded as the apple of their eye would bring them such a huge disaster at this point. Right now, the parents of the injured third Biao.ge also made haste and arrived. Coincidentally, they came upon this scene. Jia Jia Ah, we didn't do you wrong, so how could you do such a thing to us, came the waves of cries. Jing Yun Zhao also let out a breath. Pity. She had none. Compared to everyone, she was the most calm and collected one. There were some pitiful people that would induce sorrow when one looked at them. However, when they turned hateful, they would all turn in tall beasts who would bite back at someone. The detective also let out a relieved sigh. There were indeed people watching them from the opposite residential building, but all they could see was Lu Jia and the rest being the ones who started the provocation. Unfortunately, no one could see what happened after they went into the alley because it was too dark. Additionally, because these people were all youngsters, no one had thought that such a thing would happen. Despite that, the truth of the matter had been revealed. Chapter 50 The Truth is Revealed 2 2 You are listening at novelfull.audio Jin Yunzhao was finally able to leave the police station after confirming the witness report and going through the proper procedures. Before leaving, the lamenting and obnoxious scolding was noisy and unceasing. I've already informed your teacher before coming. After going through such a large dispute, just go home and relax. You don't have to go to school today. 
Gan Song Bai let out a loud sigh as he looked at Jing Yun Zhao and comforted her. Jing Yun Zhao nodded her head. Today was a Friday and there was no school the next day, plus her grades have always been good. There were many things that she had already learned. With this rare extra time on her hands, it was better to use it on improving her medical knowledge and martial arts. Especially after this occasion, she rea.rumed that she was just too weak. If she had had enough time to practice her martial arts, then these people would have never even gotten that close to her. Unlike now, even though the opponents were the ones that Su. aired losses, but she herself had also Su. aired multiple injuries on both her body and face. Touching the light scar on her face, Jing Yun Zhao's emotions were complicated. That. Gan Songbai spoke before stopping himself. He thought about it for a bit before he decided to ask, Child, even though the security here is not bad, you're still young. Don't go running about at night, especially in this area. Pitch. Black alleyways are everywhere. If something was to really happen and there's not even a hint of evidence. Gan Songbai had good intentions and Jing Yun Zhao understood completely. If she was Gan Songbai's biological granddaughter, he wouldn't be gently giving her advice. He probably would have already scolded her. However, there was nothing wrong in what Grandpa Gan had said. Even though she knew a bit of martial arts at her age, plus the fact that she was mostly alone, it was basically asking others to commit a crime. I understand Grandpa. I won't go there at night anymore, Jing Yun Zhao replied. Gan Songbai was a little confused, won't go there at night. Then that means she will still be going to that place. Jing Yun Zhao had already severed all her relations with the Chiao family. Accordingly, chances of her meeting with those people would not be high. Why does she still keep going back to that place then? T slash N, old man Su's place is close to the Chiao's house. Gan Songbai is assuming that Jing Yun Zhao was in that area because of the Chiaos. Gan Sunbai was old, Jing Yun Zhao was also a girl, what more was the fact that they were not blood dot related. Some questions were better left unasked. He made a note to later tell that child, Chu Chu, to take more care of Jing Yun Zhao. After sending O, Gan Songbai, Jing Yun Zhao once again took a trip to the medicinal market and bought quite a number of seeds. With the 10,000 yuan she had with her, she bought all kinds of seeds and added in some seedlings, the money she had was soon spent. Of course, while she was on her way home, she didn't forget to drop by old man Su's to inform him that it would be inconvenient for her to come at night. Unfortunately, this old man's temper was also very strange. Once he heard what Jing Yun Zhao said, he accused her of being lazy and trying to run away. With a swing of his arm, he strayed up through her several dozen of books. In the future, he wanted her to come once a week. Every time she came, she had to memorize at least five books. Otherwise, no matter how good the quality of the medicinal herbs were, he would not buy a single one. Even though this request was a little extreme, Jing Yun Zhao still cheerfully agreed. With the space, she had five times the amount of time than the average person. Also, she could find these kinds of books inside the jade piece, so it was convenient for her to memorize them. It was not a hardship at all. For the next three days, Jing Yun Zhao kept herself locked inside the house. Unless truly necessary, she did not show herself. Inside the space, about half a month's worth of time had passed. Recitation and martial arts practice were conducted regardless of time. After coming out, she felt as if her body had become more lithe and graceful. Her whole figure also slimmed down, and unlike the past where her skin would be pale and spiritless, her skin condition had also improved. In school, Lu Jia's shadow could no longer be seen. Won't you please read this?